Guys, this is my very first review of a product. If you hear a baby in the background, I have my daughter here. She's she's ooing and cooing, and every once in a while she'll let out a fart, and I think it's hilarious. But uh, we're going to be reviewing my Reunion Blues guitar case, acoustic guitar case. As you can tell, this one is open. That's because the zipper broke on it a few days ago. Looks like it has some missing teeth right here in the zipper as well, which I'm not too uh, I'm not too mad about that. I'm not too uh, disappointed in that because this case has lasted me for about four years already. So this is an extremely well built guitar case, and it is built for the uh, the hardworking, traveling musician. This thing stands up to the test of time. It's water resistant, and uh, I've had this thing out in pouring rain. My guitar has never been wet great guitar case. I'm going to show you what I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. Then after that, I have the brand new Reunion Blues case right here behind me. We're going to open it up and uh, check out the differences, if there are any. And uh, yeah, that's where we're going to go. Let's get down to it. This is my camera case that I carry all of my GoPros in. All of my camera gear is in here. Carry that with me on a day-to-day -day basis so I can do my vlogs. I've got into the habit of carrying an extra, an extra uh, extension cord with me everywhere I go. <clears throat> this is my notepad holder. It just attaches to the microphone stand. Holds my notepad. A microphone. This is my Shure Beta 58. I've wrapped it with a uh, camouflage tape. I don't know why. I guess because I'm I guess because I'm country. A whole bag of guitar picks. These are my custom guitar picks. Just got these guys in from Intune Guitar Picks. Check them out at intunegp.com. <coughs> I have been endorsed by those guys, so I'm going to put a link to their website right below my, uh, right in the description of this video. This is an extra charging cable for my uh, GoPro. I don't know why it's in there. I always carry a pair of good old trusted pliers so I can take the pegs out of my uh, guitar strings when I change them. And, uh, and cut the wires whenever I get done at the end. This is my guitar strap. I carry, you know, you have to have a guitar strap. This one has my wireless transmitter on it in case I want to go wireless. This is my guitar cable. Always carry that with me, of course. You got to have that down here. This is my notepad I carry with me. This is the same, this is a really big notepad. So it just goes to show you how much room is in this guitar case. Here's a little extendable selfie stick that I carry for my GoPro. I don't think there's anything else in there. There's a square right there in case anybody wants to tip the band and doesn't have cash. We can just read it with a square. The only things I haven't liked about this guitar case was uh, the pull tabs for the zipper came off about six months ago. I didn't like that. Uh, I knew they were going to go sometime soon. They didn't feel like they were very high quality pull tabs. Inside the case, I have my 1983 Takamini F350. This is what is called a, a lawsuit Takamini. Inside the case, you have this really nice padded area down here. Real nice. It feels like it feels like suede. It's really nice. This pad right here keeps your uh, guitar strings from a. Uh, from damaging the suede right here. This part right here protects where your strings go in. One thing I do like about this guitar case is this D-ring on the back. This D-ring is where I hang my my drink holder. It just clamps onto my microphone, just hooks onto my microphone stand. Put my drink right there on my stand. And uh, I go right along with it. There's a nice little pocket back here in the back. Or anything like uh, I don't know. I put anything back there. I put guitar a string, a guitar strings back there, guitar cables back there. Sometimes I put my strap back there. I don't like putting too much back there because it digs into my back when I'm carrying it. But these straps right here are heavy, dude. I've never had, 
I've never once even thought about these straps coming undone. This strap right here, uh, the uh, if you have it on your if you have it on your back, it's the left strap. But uh, these straps are connected. That little hook and this D-ring right down here. Tell you what, man, these these cases are well built for the traveling musician. Very nice case. All right, now let's take a look at the brand new case. All right, so this is the box that the brand new Reunion Blues guitar case came in. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. showed you. Let's come over here to the review table. Check it out. Alright guys, there it is. The brand new Reunion Blues case. I like it already. It's plain black. The other one has some blue uh, some blue trim on it. Uh, either way, I, I'm, that, that's not a deal breaker for me. I don't care about the color. I just care about the functionality. Uh, first thing I noticed right off the bat on the old case, this part right here was blue. On this one, it's black. And uh, right here, along these trims right here, the other one was blue. It had blue trim on it right there. That's the trim I'm talking about. I don't care if it's, I don't care what color it is, really. Uh, anyway, let's see if these pockets are the same. Yep, pretty much the same. All right. There's a deep pocket right there with a Velcro strap on it. We got a zippered uh, pocket right there with a little bit of mesh on it right there. I don't know what you put in there. Maybe some guitar strings. There's another deep well pocket right there. This little Velcro strap right here, I normally use it if I take my wireless microphone with me. I'll usually put my wireless microphone in that. See what the inside looks like. See if there's any differences on the inside. Oh. I noticed a difference right off the bat here. No Velcro strap right here to hold your guitar in. Plenty of padding. Oh man, you, I could probably lay down in this thing if I was short. I could probably put my baby girl in there and she'd go to sleep in there. The only difference I see in there is the little Velcro strap right there that's in the old case. I really did like that feature because every once in a while I get in a hurry when I'm, uh, when I'm packing up and I don't, I don't zip my guitar case up all the way. And I, that has happened to me before. I picked it up and that, that strap out there has held my guitar in. So that's really the only difference I see. Not a bad case, y'all. Reunion Blues. Top notch. These guys are. I'm telling you. I tell you. Let's just see if all this stuff fits in the new case as snug as it did in the old case. Here's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna put my guitar in there. I didn't put my, I didn't put this stuff in here simply because I knew it wasn't gonna fit right now. This thing's probably got to get broken in a little bit, so I'm gonna have to figure out a different way to carry my camera case. Let's put the guitar in there. Let's see how snug it fits. Yep, 
That's a little bit of wrestling. This thing fit right on in. There you have it. Let's put the straps on. Straps are always in here when they send it to you. Guys, there you have it. It's the review of the Reunion Blues acoustic guitar case. I really love this case. I've had the, my last one for about three or four years. I give it two thumbs up. I give it eight out of ten stars. So uh, there's there's a few things that I would have different on it if I could, but that's that's the only reason I gave it eight out of ten stars. This new one, really snug right now. I love it. It's going to take some getting used to to break in, but uh. If you are a touring musician, if you're a, a, a very busy musician, got a lot of shows to do, these Reunion Blues cases can handle the load. I'll post a link below to where I bought mine. I got mine off of Amazon, so I'll do that for you. I bought mine for about $189. So uh, they're expensive, but they're worth it. So, hey, Life of a Country Singer, product review.